Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So we're back with another nice little chatty video. I thought it'd be great basically just to update you guys and keep you all in the loop mentally. What's going on, everything that I've been feeling, just being honest with you guys. You know, being honest with the new me, instead of just seeing what I'm up to, I actually know what's going on behind the scenes because I feel like you guys deserve that, you know? My hair looks absolutely rancid. Just, I don't even know what that word means. I'm trying to be clever, but... I'm not actually very clever. <laughs> there we go. Does it like any better? Who knows? Anyway, we're all about keeping it real on this channel. <laughs> it feels so random doing these videos because it's like, where do I start? Like, it's so random just to randomly start talking about like, because it's like, for example, if you ever got into a conversation with somebody, you wouldn't just all of a sudden start with like something really deep, you know? You sort of like start with the small talk and gradually get into that. Whereas like with these sort of videos, you just go straight in, you know? But i trust you guys by the way this jumper is from pretty little thing and it's the most comfiest thing ever i have not taken off since the moment i got it um really good quality love that from uplt anyway let's talk about friends because friends has been a really really big topic in my life the last like year or so and for me i feel like friends have really shaped me into the person i am right now i'm not gonna lie i have had many best friends and maybe that's a me problem i have like been through a lot of people but i haven't actually identified the proper issue yet whether it is a me problem or not i always just try and look at people that i have had really close relationships with in the past I'll never like pinpoint anything bad onto them or make them seem like the bad person. You know, I always just sort of think if anybody ever asks, oh, what happened with you and this person? I'm always like, oh, I don't know. We just sort of drifted. All I'm trying to say is that, you know, it never ends badly. It's sad. Like losing a really good friend is literally like a heartbreak. It's literally like breaking up with your boyfriend. Like it's like a full on relationship. Whenever I think about it, I'm like, oh my God, why am I thinking about this? Like it was literally like a freaking relationship. And I'm like, do you know what? Allow yourself to feel like that because it kind of was just because your emotions and the way you care about the person are literally all there and the way that they do the same and the amount of time you spend with them it literally is that you know i don't really have that many friends now i'm also trying to learn that maybe that's not a bad thing and let the world do its thing people come and go in life and i'm literally so young that maybe i will find my people or maybe i won't and if i don't then clearly the world sort of thinks i'm going to thrive but on my own and that friends and things like that aren't really something I should be stressing about if they don't sort of like happen naturally. I used to want to force friendship so bad like if I thought that person was cool or if they were like hanging out with cool people I think like, oh yeah they're like the people I want to be friends with that's the sort of person I want to be but why like and this sort of links on to something. I've always felt this pressure to be a certain way to like you know always have my hair done always have my makeup done always be wearing something cute whatever else it may be but maybe you know i don't want to do that like i don't want to like have like long acrylics and um, oh my god uh, there's just no need for that but yeah it literally makes you sound like such a pygmy girl like oh yeah i'm so different to other girls i'm like other girls but at the same time if i don't want to do something that doesn't make me not cool like i've now come to the conclusion that drinking is not for me and i used to like go out like this time last year i used to love going out and drinking with all my friends and whatever else but now the world has like taken a turn where for me right now sort of situation i'm in right now that life isn't for me i don't want to go out until 5 a.m and get sloshed and like be a crazy gal like like, that's not me and it makes me feel so guilty i think i'm literally a teenager this is like my prime time to like live my life not care about money have fun do what i want like hang out with who i want like whatever else and i'm like i'm literally a teenager why don't i want to do that everybody that i know is doing that they're all like seem to be absolutely living their life like having the best times ever why don't i want to do that why would i rather like stay in and watch a netflix series and like have a shower and like get all comfy in my pajamas and have a takeaway why and i always beat myself up for it. I'm always He's like oh my god why aren't you doing that and i'm like you're not the only person that is the same as this and even if i was that's okay like this is me and if that's the way that my body is going to be happy then allow it and that's not to say like i don't love going for like girly days out and love going shopping and love to go for food and love going to the gym love going for walks going for a drive or even just having like a night in like that is my version of fun that is literally like fun to a tea or even like meeting up with somebody and like literally doing work together and then like having a catch-up 
sober afterwards like that for me is like fun to them to people that are going out drinking having fun they might not even enjoy that their thing might be going out to a club and getting absolutely hammered and then the day after not wanting to go on a walk not wanting to go out for lunch not wanting to have a little self-care moment like it's just everybody's different and if anybody relates to that and even if you know you feel like you're trying to fit in you feel like you have to go out with everybody like for example if you've just started uni and you feel like everybody is like wanting to go out and get hammered and like stay out really late we're just going along with it because you feel like you know you're not going to make friends if you don't do it suck it up and get on with it because that's what everybody else is doing don't do that you're attracting the wrong sort of people i have now come to a conclusion the reason that i am not maintaining my friendships as well as i maybe should have is because i was always almost faking it with people and for me why have people in your life that you guys don't have the same interest and of course you can relate on different levels but if you don't relate in any way you're gonna have have to force your fun times because it's not actually going to be fun like it'll either be fun for one of you or not the other or vice versa and whatever like i want to attract people in my life that want to like try new sports and want to go to like a yoga class want to go like shopping and that's the sort of people that i want to like attract in my life just want to try new things i'm all about that so not okay with chilling all day i'm so not okay with routine there's something about me that cannot deal with living the same life every day and I've been really getting down about it recently because I feel like so fed up of living the same life and it sounds absolutely awful and I hate saying it out loud because for me, I literally have the most beautiful house, I'm in the most beautiful area, I have the most beautiful family, the most amazing boyfriend. I have been struggling with the fact that I don't really have any friends. I have been making more of an effort recently because there's amazing people that are in my life I know I can make more effort with and that's not to say that I'd ever force anything if I never thought actually you know they're not really my type of people i'd never force that just because i don't have any friends i'd only make the effort with people that gen i can genuinely tell are like good people and you know we're actually similar on a level and whatever else i never want to force somebody into my life because it's never going to end well if you're not the same kind of people and then obviously i have also been struggling with the fact that i just feel like for my whole life i've lived in the same area and it sounds so stupid because that's literally how everybody's life goes but for me my brain almost is like like so overactive i don't know if that's a word and it's just always thinking it's always on the go it's always wanting to like see something new want to try new things and i just feel like i'm not given the opportunity to do that here i feel like i'm so bored of like driving on the same roads getting up every day and like just thinking oh so what are we gonna do today oh yeah the same as yesterday i have the same breakfast as yesterday i'm gonna get on my same outfit as i wore yesterday or i wore two days ago before it got washed and then i'm gonna go for some lunch today in the same place that I've been like literally 50 times I'm gonna make some more content that isn't really gonna do very well which really upsets me because it's what I've literally wanted to do since I've literally been like eight years old go to the gym which I do enjoy because that's my little like me time which I feel like I've sort of missed for a long time but all I'm trying to say is I feel like I need something to like spice up my life and I don't know what that is because I've been struggling with this and I, I keep blaming it on my surrounding areas that I'm like oh I can't do what I want to do because of the area i'm in it's like it no it's obviously a me problem like everybody else lives this life like i'm not the only freaking person everybody like it would be abnormal to it would be like out of the ordinary to not live this life if you know what i mean but for me i need a way to like spice it up i don't know what that is i've been really struggling with it and it really gets me down and i feel like as well obviously because my job is literally working from home i literally will sit in my room and do work and then go to sleep in the room that i do my work you know by the way i'm literally at my house i'm not anywhere right now i'm at my house in my car but my family are in the house and i want to like have my own little like privacy you know while i've got this video because i want to be honest with you and even though my mum watches the video and i love that she watched them and i'd have this exact conversation with her i was still so awkward like that they can hear me talking to a camera about it like i'm literally just talking to myself right now but i'm not really i'm talking to my besties hey besties but yeah if anybody has any advice on that i'd really love to know what you guys think if anybody's ever struggled with this before and i feel like it's i i've 
trying to get into more of a routine. I'm trying to be more open-minded, try new things. I went to tennis for the first time yesterday, literally since school that I've played. We've got, got some new tennis rackets, which is really fun. We went for a walk around a really beautiful park near me. I've been going to the gym maybe like five times a week, which has been helping me loads because I feel like that for me used to be my thing, but I'd always have like an ulterior motive in my brain, which was like, you know, the body issues. Whereas now I've completely flipped it around and it's like, I'm going, so I want to be strong. And when I'm 60 years old, I don't want to be in pain. I want to be like agile. I want to be like a fit nan, you know? Like I'm doing this for future me. I'm not doing this for now. And I think that's where you can get so caught up when you're going to the gym thinking like, oh my God, why am I progressing with my body? And like, instead of thinking about it like that, I am not doing it for aesthetics. I'm completely doing for it. Like I want to get my heart rate up and I want to sweat. So in the future, I am more fit and I'm like ready to go. You know, like that's my sort of like vibe now. And I think I'm really like interested in looking into starting some boxing. Me and my sis are going to start dancing hopefully in about three weeks, like doing dance classes. I think all of these things will hopefully, like once I get into the routine of it, because at the minute I'm definitely not in the routine of it. Although I'm in the routine of going to the gym, which is a first step. And I feel like the little steps are the most important things because they all add up without realizing. And then you start just feeling more you. And I think that is really where the issue lies. It's like me finding out what's good for me and what I enjoy and I listen a lot to Anna Archer and if you guys have been through a similar journey as me and you're relating to anything that I'm saying right now listening to Inside Anna's Mind on Spotify her podcast her content is literally so inspiring for me it's given me this whole new it's crazy how somebody that you can just look up to so much can say a few words take on and I take on board so much but I really do resonate with a lot she says everything she says I'm like oh my god that's literally me she's like I don't want to be like a city girl like I don't want to like be this like little girly girl and don't get me wrong I freaking love being like a girly girl but at the same time I feel like with a lot of people I can't just be unapologetically me which is my main aim in life I just want to be unapologetically me do whatever the frick I want be independent be an absolute boss ass bitch you know so I'm on the road for that I would highly recommend listening to her podcast and I've been looking for similar podcasts I've been listening to the diary of CEO which obviously is like the most basic one ever but his podcasts are legit so to god I literally love them so yeah if anyone's got any similar podcasts to Anna Archer's let me know because she only posts once a week and sometimes maybe like once every couple weeks or something i love that she does that like she posts when she needs when she can when she's mentally prepared but as well i need more content so if anybody's got any suggestions let me know i just am now trying to figure myself out instead of feeling cringe to be me and basically going along with the crowd that's not me i don't want to do what everybody else is doing i want to be me you know i want to just like dance and like no be me and that sort of leads on to like the content I've been posting and why now I'm deciding to make the change because that's what I should do, like as I should. Oh, I'm too tall for this car. Bloody hell. I feel like the whole car nearly rolled back. I literally have my granddad's Crocs on right now. Are they have real Crocs. He's always said they're Crocs, but looking at them, they don't say Crocs on them anymore. Is he a liar, actress, go the fuck out? He actually might be. So yeah, this goes on to the content thing. Obviously I did my little like mental health, ED recovery, honesty chat last week or like the other day that I posted. I'm not sure when I'll post this video. And I love doing that because to me, that's the start of something new. I've always felt I need to post the same content as Saffron Barker, Anastasia Kings North, like all these like, you know, typical youtube girls yeah they do really well like that's the content i need to post i need to be like them and then it would put me off i'd have no motivation to post any content like that because i never get the motivation to like film it and i never get the motivation to like be me in the video because that's not actually the sort of content i want to do i want to post content of me like on my journey like me being me and finding myself trying new things and experiences i go through advice to you guys i just want to be like your guys is like big sister that like helps you be the best version of yourself and like enjoy life i don't want you guys to like hate life and i just want to like be there for you because that is my main goal like i just want to be i just want to help you and i let you guys in and like relate to somebody because i know i watch so many people that their videos are like perfect and like what they do seems like so good all the time
time and like they always look amazing that's what i want to be like that's what i was always been like since i've done youtube i've done youtube since i've been like literally eight years old eight years old this has been my goal for 10 years i want to do this and i want i just realized 10 years later i don't want to do that anymore i just want to post what i want to post so here's to that i'm upping my tiktok game i need to get on the instagram grind grind because i don't really understand instagram i don't know what you guys want from me on instagram but then again what am i talking about i need to post what i want to post I just want to help you guys. I don't know what to post. Somebody help me for my Instagram content because I'm going to post what I want to post. That's it. I'm posting what I want to post. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to post what I want to post. I'm over feeling cringe, posting what I want to post, being who I want to be, doing what everybody else is doing. All about finding my inner child, as Anna Archer has told me. <sighs> and breathe. Anyway, let's talk about the crash, guys. We haven't spoken about that in a freaking minute. I'm not really going to talk about the crash, but I'm just going to talk about, like, effects from the crash. So I have been struggling really a lot with low energy levels. I have done a little bit of research into this. Apparently, that can be caused from trauma. Now, obviously, in the last, like, three years, I've been through a lot of trauma. I've had a freaking eating disorder, which messed me up physically and mentally, and also my relationships and my whole life, basically. And then I've also been in a very fatal car crash. I don't remember a goddamn thing of for like i don't remember like 48 hours of my life of that crash so clearly that's my brain being like no babe you don't you don't want to know about this let's like leave it out so that to me i think that's a bit of trauma there i've done a bit of research about the low energy levels and apparently when you've been through a lot of trauma you're you just get low energy and that completely makes sense when i read that i was like shit i've been through a lot of trauma actually and i never give myself that like recognition and like babe you've been through a lot obviously i'm gonna have low energy sometimes i'll be having really low energy and i'll be like oh god this is so annoying i had this plan like i wanted to film this content i wanted to edit this video and i need some motivation to edit this video because i'll still be bored and i can't do it with this low energy and i just want to fall asleep like i need to be yawning my eyes will be like shutting i'll be like so tired me and ben my boyfriend he's amazing have been talking all about this and we finally discovered that you know what it doesn't make me freaking lazy if i need to have a nap after i've been awake for two hours of the day if i need a nap and i woke up at 10 a.m and it's 11 a.m and i need a nap you're having a nap for two hours or whatever it is until you feel up and ready for the day even if i need a nap at 7 p.m you're having that nap because the thing is for me i've now found that i get energy bursts so instead of being like okay i'm gonna do work from nine till four every day i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna do work when my body feels ready to do that work you know because my body is a bit unpredictable has low energy spurts etc and so I might have an energy burst at like 10 p.m. And so if I've had that nap at seven till nine, that's okay, I can work until 12. And I'm not gonna feel guilty about going to bed late because I've known I've had a little bit of a nap. Whereas if I just stayed up trying to do work, from like 7 p.m. when I had really low energy and I just thought, oh my God, I'm not doing the work to the best of my ability. Oh, I'm doing really shit at this and I feel so tired and I feel really guilty for being so tired and not doing the work very good. And I'm like, shut up brain, go to sleep, give your body the rest it needs, wake up at nine, still feel a little bit, mm, still waking up, get my energy burst at 10. I can be like, okay, let's absolutely like smash this and like get this editing done to the best of my ability because now I have this energy burst and it works. And I'm so happy, but I'm still finding that balance of I'm like, okay, it's okay. You you do what you need to do but i feel like i'm getting that and as well it understanding me and like listening to me rather than thinking about oh is people gonna think i'm lazy for like having a nap well no you do what you need to do you're the only person that i should care about i don't care about anybody else i should care about me <laughs> be selfish uh, god i literally have really bad anxiety as well about something at the minute it sounds so stupid and please 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 don't laugh at me because it actually makes me cry on the daily i don't know if anybody has watched see i hate talking about it because i'm in the car and i'm outside I'm fine, I'm fine. Has anybody watched Prisoners? I'm sure you have because it's an absolutely brilliant film. But the guy Alex in it, since I've watched it, I watched it about the beginning of this year. Ever since I've been, oh my God, I'm really scared of talking about it. I'm really scared of talking about it. I mean, you've just been freaked out and there's like scenes within the movie that freaking freaks me out. Whenever I come home when it's dark, I get my mum or Ben to come onto the drive to come and walk me in. And Ben knocked on the ceiling last night and I literally had a panic attack and started crying. And I can't fall asleep without Ben on the phone or with me next to me because I feel like he is in the room. I can't lock the door without literally getting panicky. And I feel like he's in my car now. I hate driving home on my own. And if anybody has any recommendations as to what to do about this, because I know he's not in my car right now. And I know that when it's dark, he's not around about to like, 
like jump out on me and kidnap me and I know that he's not in my room in my face when the light is off and I'm trying to fall asleep but my brain still is like yeah he is you should probably like turn on the light and like not move an inch because he's gonna get you if you move a centimetre but like, it sounds so stupid like what is this like it sounds so stupid but it really upsets me it really makes me upset I also just wanted to talk about one last thing. Having a boyfriend is literally the best thing ever. Can I just say, I want my boyfriend to literally have as many friends as possible. I want him to literally have like the most amazing friends. Go out and have so much fun and like be him and just like, you know, have fun away from me. Like, I don't think we should be the only people making each other happy. I feel like he should have friends he has loads of fun with and like he does what he wants and has like, you know, quality time with his friends, right? I don't know what it is. Whenever Benny goes out, not as in like just for a meal with his friends because that doesn't get to me. Whenever he goes like, out to like spoons or like just like a bar or a club or something deep down absolutely love it i love that he's doing what he wants and i love that like he can just like have a good time there's something about and he doesn't even drink and if he does he'll have like one or two beers or one or two ciders or something or maybe like one shot or something like he really doesn't get drunk anymore because when he did he used to like react really badly to it and if he wanted to drink that would be absolutely amazing like if he you know now discovered that he can handle alcohol way better and he actually like thrives off it then like amazing like good for him sort of thing whenever he goes out with his friends like out out really 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 makes me go so anxious he knows that it's not that i don't want him to go or that i'd never stop him from doing anything but it just makes me feel so guilty because i never want him to like go out and having to be like thinking about me like or i never want him to feel like he can't do something or talk to me about something or i don't want him to feel like awkward about saying oh by the way on friday night i'm gonna go here with blah 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 because it's not not that I have an issue with it. I literally can swear my mum's life. I do not have an issue with it. And I, in fact, I swear my mum's life. I love that he does it. But there's something about it. And it's not that I don't trust him. It's not anything to do with him. It's a completely a me issue. And I don't know if it's about past experiences. I don't know what it is. But whenever he goes out, like out, out, it just makes me feel so insecure i feel so insecure and i know that he loves me and i know that he thinks i'm amazing and but it just makes me feel so insecure and so anxious and i'm really trying to work on it and when he goes out i try and keep myself occupied and i think as well because i've lost a lot of my friends i would be going out with on like the friday nights or saturday nights or whatever i feel like maybe then that brings that all up for me as well when he does go out at them times and i think then it's like as well as being insecure and anxious about him going out i get insecure and anxious about the fact that i'm not doing it i don't know i've just got issues and i just really want to keep you guys in the loop because i never want you guys to feel alone and i never want you guys to think that everything's so smooth because it's not everybody has issues people work on them but people are always going to have issues no, no matter how hard they work so yeah these are all things that i'm currently working on and i'm hoping that in a, you know a few months i can get back to you guys and be like i've done this i've done this i'm feeling better about this this is how this is going and i'm loving it i've tried this new thing out like me and me and this person have planned this i'm really looking forward to this because there's so many amazing things in life there's just a few little things that need working on that unfortunately take over a lot of my brain I'm just looking around at the beautiful trees and the skies and the fields just makes me feel really zen you know as when you guys know you're not alone so many people out there that are going through the same thing you're going through right now and you've got this and all of us will get through it i know it i love you all so much i really hope you could have related to a little bit of this and you're the most amazing people ever and you've got this subscribe to my channel and like this video my socials will be linked in the description box below hope you're having the best day morning night week month year ever i love you and i'll see you in my next video